We're glad you're still with us on Colorado & Company. I'm Karen Rosnick. And in case you didn't get the message earlier in the show, it's Drink Local Wine Week. And what better way to celebrate than with a popular Colorado winemaker? The trivia question should have tipped you off as to who we brought in. So from the tasting floor, we have the manager, Jason Snopkowski from Carboy Winery. I practiced that too. And I'm, <laughs> I'm a Polish girl and it's you're a Polish guy. One. So yeah, should just roll off the tongue. But thanks for being here, yeah, Jason. Thanks so much for having us here, our neighbors. So it's no, nice to I be, know uh, you're just nice down the road. Over, yeah. So Carboy Winery is your newest winery, uh, just down the road. Yep. So share us a little bit of a history of the wine. The so, winery. so the winery got started uh, before the winery. Uh, our our founding partners, Craig Jones and Eric Hyatt, bought Angelos right down the street. Right. Uh, so they bought that about six or seven years ago, and they uh, they they really turned it into a great neighborhood neighborhood spot and decided to build another one down in Littleton about three years ago. And uh, they wanted to attach a winery to it. So they became negotiants, and negotiants are a style of, of winemaking where you're buying wine and, uh, and then blending it and aging and finishing it yourself, uh, and then packaging it and s selling it in your restaurants or your stores. Um, so that's how that started. A few years thereafter, we bought uh, Breckenridge. Uh, we brought the gold pan up in Breckenridge and, and dug out the basement and put a little a little winery down in the mm -hmm. basement, and that's our satellite. And then this is our third, uh, our third rendition. So, we took over the corner of 400 East Seventh Avenue, where the old Governor's Park Tavern was, uh -huh. and uh, the whole entire corner. So we have a little breakfast spot called Ivy, where we do breakfast, lunch, and events. Uh, we have Carboy Winery Tap Room, which is where you find some of our delicious treats you see here today. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we have a retail tasting room where you can come and do tastings every day, and also a full-scale restaurant called Logan Street. Wow. Uh, <coughs> featuring uh, grilled seafood items and, and tons of delicious stuff. Too, too many to name. Lots going on. Yeah. Uh, so tell us about Colorado wine and what makes it so unique and special. Colorado wine is awesome because it's, it's different. It's different from, from anything else you, you expect. You know, a lot of people compare us to California, Washington, and Oregon, but we're entirely different. Our climate is, is different, so therefore the terroir is different. Uh, the, the vineyards there start at about 4,500 feet, whereas all of the West Coast vineyards in California, Washington, and Oregon max out at about 1,000 feet mm. uh, or somewhere thereabouts. So um, it's a unique terroir. You know, it's got warm days, cool nights, alluvial soils, which means uh, sediment has collected from years and years of flowing rivers, and that all adds to a, to a unique, uh, unique and we think delicious flavor profile. What's the ter- would you say that word again? Terroir. Terroir. What terroir. does that mean? All of the things that essentially impact the grape. Oh. Know, so the soils that it's grown in, the weather, uh, the grape variety itself. Uh, anything and everything that impacts the, the grape and adds to the flavor of it. Well, speaking of grapes, you brought some of your wines here. So talk about your blends and what makes them so unique as well. So we do a, a, a wide variety of different production methods. So this year we're going to harvest about 130 tons of Colorado grapes. And so that's super special to us, you know, especially being that it's Drink Local Week. Um, we'll chuck those grapes in uh, over, the, over the mountains. They come on refrigerated trucks and land in our facility in Littleton. So we literally see them from, from grape to glass, which is pretty cool. Uh, we'll also do about 80 to 100 tons of California fruit. We, have, uh, we utilize a custom crush facility out there, basically a rental winery. Um, and so we'll do that direct from fruit, and that'll be aged actually down here on the corner in, uh, in here, in, here in Denver. Oh, which really? Which will be pretty neat. And, uh, and then we'll, we'll buy, buy bulk wine from Washington, California, and Oregon, and we're always doing something to make it uniquely carboy. So we're, we're blending it, we're aging it, we're finishing it on site in Littleton, and, uh, and then we're putting it in a bottle and bringing it to, to our guests. All right, well, you mentioned that you're just down the road. Uh, so talk about the experience of, you know, the carboy experience of when you walk in, and also you did bring some lovely charcuterie. charcuterie. Did I say that yes, right? Yes, charcuterie. We practiced that one too. Exactly, <laughs> did a lot of practicing today. So talk about what you can offer people when they walk in. So it's really just a great neighborhood spot. You know, Angelo's was really set the standard for being a, a, a cool neighborhood hangout where people could go a couple times a, a, couple times a week and, and never get bored with it. And we really wanted to invoke that spirit. So we created a great happy hour, um, great happy hour where people could come in and enjoy one of our boards and a, and a crap of wine. Um, and it's just a very welcoming spot. You know, enjoy wine. We got a couple of beers for the people that really truly don't enjoy wine. We got a couple of cocktails. 
um, a little something for everybody where you can come and hang out and just you know do it again and again. And this is something that you offer uh, customers. You offered us. Yeah. Uh, this is what can you describe this plate here that you brought? So uh, so we have uh, two unique food experiences in there. We do in the tap room. We do meat, cheese, and veggie boards, small plates, desserts, some bruschettas, um, stuff that really goes with wine really well. And then uh, in Logan Street, it's a full-scale restaurant. Again, gr grilled seafood items, um, some hearty pastas, really delicious stuff uh, from Chef Rebecca Weitzman. Um, so when you come into the tap room, though, uh, the meat, cheese, and veggie boards are really the star. I mean, obviously, they're, they're really visually striking. They taste delicious on top of it. Um, we have a killer happy hour where you can pick one of these boards. We have uh, four or five different renditions. We have an all-meat board, an all-cheese board. Um, a veggie board for, for the vegetarians and people that just love veggies like me. Um, this one happens to be our most popular. It's called the Red Rocker. We do two meats and two cheeses and then uh, a little accoutrement of uh, uh, Cabernet blueberry compote and some mustard seed and a, a bunch of beautiful pickled vegetables. Um, so during happy hour, you can pick that board or one of our other ones and then also get a, uh, a, a bottle-sized carafe of our tap wine for $30. Wow, excellent deal. deal. All right, yep. well, we're going to have to head down there. Uh, and happy hour, 3 to 6, and then after 9 o'clock? 3 to 6 and 9 to close. We have more hours under happy hour than we do regular business. Okay. So. <laughs> Excellent. Well, what a fun thing to do this week. There are three Carboy wineries in Colorado, Littleton, Breckenridge, and the newest location at 400 East 7th Avenue in Denver, just down the road. Plan your next private event or just gather some friends for a fun tasting experience. Happy Hour starts every day at 3 p.m. Check them out online at carboywinery.com.